In today's video, we're talking about camping tents, specifically large sized family camping tents that you're gonna use for your car camping needs. I've got four different options that we're gonna talk about today. Go through all the pros and cons of each of these styles and help you make a better decision on which style is the right choice for you and your camping needs. The first consideration to think about when it comes to choosing a tent for your car camping is how much space do you need? What is the goal of the use of that tent? So if I've got a family of five plus a dog, then I'm primarily gonna be looking at much larger tent options or I'm gonna be going into multiple tents to be able to house on my trip everybody and my gear so that we are nice and comfortable. But there is another consideration. How much space is that tent going to take up? Sometimes you find yourself in campgrounds where there's not enough space in the tent pad that is provided for a really huge tent. So you may have to take some smaller options to squeeze them in and make it function better that way or you're spread out on two smaller tent pads. That is something that I see pretty common in campgrounds as I've been around uh, not only doing dispersed camping on public lands. So determine what it is you need the tent to do for you from a use standpoint. If you are looking at something that is gonna be an all weather, really robust, last forever style of tent, then maybe this canvas option is gonna be the best option, but this is also gonna come with some downsides. If you are looking for something that is more packable and still has a large amount of space, then this is gonna be your option that way. But then you've got all of your middle ground options as well as some unique ones that we'll cover here today, like this Krua tent that is probably one of the most unique tents that I've seen as I've been out using various different styles of camping tents. But let's first talk about these two styles of tents here that are gonna be the most traditional, most approachable that we see most often out in the backcountry. The most approachable tent options, I feel like, are the two tents that we're gonna look at first. This is the Nemo Aurora High Rise six-person tent, and this is the Marmot Limestone four-person tent. The reason I say that these are the most approachable is for the fact that they are the easiest to pitch, they have all of the features that you want, and they're kind of a one-stop, do-it-all, camping tent. So this Nemo Aurora High Rise six person tent is actually one of my favorite camping tents of all time. We have used this tent for several years as a family and we love the performance of this. And ideally what you're getting out of this is a few things. One, it is fairly lightweight given the size of the tent. And two, it's also got a lot of living space inside of the tent. And you would think, oh sure, it's a six person tent, it's going to be huge. But I've had other six person size tents where the walls still come in pretty tight and when you're standing up and you've got several people inside of the tent, it doesn't feel as roomy as it could be. So Nemo has done a really good job with this tent to give you some vertical walls, but still have a really strong pole structure and it's simple to set up. That is an important thing with the approachability of a large tent like this. If it's your first few times going out on a camping trip, you want that tent to be able to go up quickly and trust that it's gonna perform in maybe rain, heavy winds, or whatever weather you might be experiencing. What I like about the four person size tent that is specific to camping is you still get a tent that's gonna have a bit more height to it than maybe say a three or four person size backpacking tent that's gonna be much lower on its peak height. This peak height, even on a four person size tent where ideally I'm gonna be using two or three people in here plus some gear, this still feels very livable and it's very comfortable and you don't feel like you're on top of each other and you have some space to move around inside of the tent. You also tend to get very large vestibules with these styles of tents as well. Really huge doorway entries and it's just a very approachable and enjoyable camping experience because of that. So here's the example, six person size tent that allows for full standing height. Now I am five foot nine and I still have many inches of space above my head here in the center of the tent. But I can move to the side and I still can move around inside of this tent really well. 
The other thing that is very nice about a big tent like this is usually you've got a lot of mesh and air movement inside of the tent, so you don't really have to be concerned about condensation in here. Now this is a semi single wall tent. So here on these vertical walls on the sides, you have some big windows that allow for really good ventilation, but it also is a waterproof panel that will keep the water out and make it weatherproof basically at that point. But again, the amount of space that you have inside of this tent, the weight savings that you get out of it, the packability is all a huge selling point for me with this style of tent. I get so much living space for a small pack size and a fairly reasonable cost as well. I just really enjoy the approachability, the efficiency of setup with this style of tent that uses that aluminum pole structure and is large enough to make it really comfortable to be out camping as a family. So again, the Nemo Aurora High Rise, the Marmot Limestone four person. There are many, many other options. I'll put some down in the video description that are all sorts of budgets as well. So you can see what I would recommend based off of different price points so that you can choose which one fits your budget the best. Now the next style of tent we're gonna talk about is just more within the realm of a specialty use or from the idea of a solo camper or me and one of my kids and not taking the entire family out on a trip. So this is a three person size tent from Krua who is sponsoring this video today. I wanna to thank them for supporting the channel here. But what's unique about this is the smaller footprint. You've got a single wall design that has a really interesting inner tent option that we'll talk about here in a second. But the point of this is your use case and the reason for going out on a car camping trip is not always going to be camping with the family. Maybe you're hunting, maybe you're looking to get out and really do some intense weather camping. And so something that is more of like a bunker style, that's what I kind of keep thinking about with this tent where you have really strong construction here and it's a lower profile and you're just looking for something that is gonna provide the protection and the enjoyment that also isn't this huge, massive footprint. So you can take something that is not backpacking specific that is better for car camping and have a really enjoyable experience. So I look at this and think, cool, this has a huge vestibule space here in the front that's gonna give me a place to hang out, maybe do some cooking, make coffee, hot chocolate in the morning, where I've got some rain coming down, open the door and I can still stay protected, whereas I might not have that option with this style of tent over here. So what I like about this style of tent, again, from a car camping standpoint, is the modularity that I have with it. The outer tent called the Duo Max is a single wall tent that provides really nice rain protection, a lot of structure, and it also has good ventilation so that I can really enjoy myself on a summer car camping trip. But when I really want to push the limits and extend my camping into cold weather seasons, then I can include the Kula Max Inner Insulated Tent. Yes, this is an insulated inner tent that uses an air beam construction for you to get it all set up and put together so you don't have to worry about metal poles and such inside of the outer tent. But there's a few benefits to this. The first is that because it's full insulation all the way around you, when I get back in here, I can absolutely tell a difference of the temperature that is here as opposed to being outside. So the synthetic insulation in here provides a few things. Here on the floor, you've got protection from cold ground. And then the outside here is just gonna trap your body heat from when you're inside here to really make it nice and warm without having to have any kind of wood stove or a tent heater or uh, supplemental heat basically. So that's really cool. But it also provides the opportunity for you to really darken the space. You've got a few panels here that close up that these are all ventilated and the fabric that's used on the tent in here is also breathable. So it's gonna let 
air movement kind of happen, but it is going to trap that warm air because of the insulation. So the thing that just excites me about this style of tent is the modularity of it. I don't have to use all of it every single time. If I'm wanting to only use the outer tent as my shelter, then I have the option to do that. And I've got a lot of cool features and such with it that make it nice and enjoyable to use. And I don't have to take everything with me on my trip every single time. But I also have the option with that inner tent for me to put it into a larger tent. So it doesn't have to be used for just this configuration here. I can take that Kula Max inner tent, put it in a large eight, 10 person, six person tent, or even a four person, and have those benefits of the insulation value extending my season a bit that way. So really cool to have the modularity with something like this from Krua. Now the last style of tent we'll talk about today is a canvas tent. Now this is probably the most traditional and something that people have fond memories of using over decades and decades of use. I can already see people saying in the comments like, oh my gosh, I used to sleep in a canvas walled tent like this when I was a kid 20, 30, 40 years ago. And likely that tent is still in use and in awesome condition. And that is a huge benefit of a canvas tent like this. Now I'm stoked to finally get my hands on one after never using a canvas tent personally until this year. But this is a nine by eight size tent from Kodiak Canvas that has this huge awning it gives you sun protection and some shade to be able to hang out and enjoy yourself that way. Or in the event of rain, you've also got the ability to hang out underneath that and not have to be inside of the tent. But one of the cons of a canvas tent like this is they can require a bit more maintenance. You have to make sure they're totally dry when you put them away. You should do that with any tent, but especially with a canvas tent. And they also are bulky and heavy. So the amount of space that this tent takes up in the car compared to the four person marmot tent, it's like three times the size compared to that tent for a four person size tent that we have here. But the other really cool thing about this is just how incredibly stable this tent is. So in strong, strong winds, maybe some snowfall, heavy rains, these are proven to be some of the most stable and strong tents out on the market. And there are people that I have seen videos where <laughs> I've experienced it myself. My Nemo tent, I had an eight person wagon top. I still have it, but I haven't used it since it got destroyed. That thing just got creamed by a windstorm. And I would guarantee you that this tent here in that same windstorm would have just done a little bit of this and been just, just fine. So that is a huge benefit of a canvas tent. You also have just a lot of living space in here. So let's go inside of the tent and show you that. Okay, so living space inside of this nine by eight Kodiak canvas tent is pretty phenomenal. This is gonna be a four person size tent. Primarily, I'm gonna put two adults in here and maybe my dog or my three children. This is a good space for them, but I have full standing height across the entire length and width of the tent. I have nearly vertical walls, which is great. I have two doors and two big windows on uh, either side of the tent. So lots of ventilation opportunity. Even though this is a single wall tent, it is going to vent and breathe really nice. And this thing's gonna freaking last forever because you've got a tarp style floor that's like a vinyl floor that is waterproof and this is gonna provide protection from cold ground. It's gonna be just something that's going to last literally forever. So I can put cots in here and not have to worry about them damaging the tent floor because of how robust the floor material is in here. And the canvas construction makes this very, very strong as well. So is this a better tent than the Nemo? And as a six person size tent or even a four person, it just depends on your needs and what you're wanting to get out of the tent. This is going to be stronger, more stable, and just a higher quality construction over the long term, especially from 
UV damage and such that you would have from just long-term use of a large tent like this. Now, this is nine by eight, so it's smaller than the six-person Nemo tent, but this is also going to be a much, much larger pack size, and that is one of the cons with a canvas tent like this is the weight and the bulk and the management of making sure that the uh, material is always totally dry before you put it away. But this thing is seriously, seriously phenomenal. Well, there you go. Four different styles of car camping tents of all different sizes and use cases. And hopefully you found this helpful in being able to choose the right option and see what kind of options are out there. Now, keep in mind, we did not talk about the low cost, inexpensive, typically pretty cheaply built cabin style tents that you might see from Coleman or other no name brands on Amazon that are in that six to eight person size that use a fiberglass construction. I wanted to showcase options that are a bit more robust and reliable, higher quality, and that's the reason for showing these four today. But again, think about what it is you want out of a car camping tent. What do you need it to do for you? Do you need the modularity of something like this crew a tent, or do you need a one-stop do-it-all kind of singular option that works well for your family camping? Or do you wanna go very traditional, very old school as well with a canvas tent that provides a super stable, strong structure that's just gonna handle pretty much everything you put at it, invest in it one time and let it last forever. Lots of different things to consider and think about, but these are some of my favorite options out there on the market right now. I've also put links down in the description for one, to check out Krua and want to thank them again for sponsoring this video today. They've got some really cool options as well beyond what we've shown here, but also just some other options that fit within every budget you can imagine. And want to thank you guys for watching today. Hope you have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next one. See you later.